Today I'm on a journey with friends to buy this extremely rare sealed Pokemon item for my collection. And I had no idea that this journey would take us from garage sales to following not one, but two strangers into their basement and even ending with the greatest trade I may have ever made. This is the greatest day ever. A few months ago, I decided that I wanted to go on a journey to build the Pokemon collection of my dreams. Now this includes every single Pokemon game ever, every Pokemon system, vintage cards, and so much more. So today I'm out hunting with friends at garage sales to find items to flip for profit to fund my Pokemon pursuit. Now in the last episode, we got the Pokebank to 1716, but really I need 2200 bucks in order to buy this sealed Pokemon blister pack. So I need roughly $500 in profit to be able to afford this blister pack, but factoring in the cost of business and everything else on the day, my goal is to get $1,000 in profit. We started off the right way, brother Dave's behind the camera, but he just picked this up for a buck, 30 bucks in profit. Let's go. Okay. The whole box? I'll give you 10 bucks for this box. So we picked up this box of cards at the last sale, 10 bucks. It's like all sleeved up football cards, rookies, mosaic, silvers, all sorts of interesting stuff. I think it's gonna be worth 50 bucks pretty easily, so we'll call that another 40 bucks in profit, putting us at some amount of $70 profit. We're hitting a lot of sales already, and Matt found a couple more items profiting about 10 bucks. He told me magic cards, so I had to come and check them out. <laughs> What's the story on them? You, you collect them or play the game or? Uh, I play the game. Okay. 12 bucks for some magic cards. It's a cool score. I think maybe they're worth 32 bucks, $20 in profit. That's a total guess, I have no idea. 10 bucks here, good score. The Star Trek books, I always bundle up books that are the same. Got them all for five bucks, this for five bucks. I don't know how much that's worth, but I'm gonna say 20 bucks on profit in the Star Trek. We really are off to a great start. Finding lots of items with some profit, including these five games that should add about 10 bucks. We found this cool Halo Collector's Edition helmet with some games, but everything was just priced a little bit too high. We'll see if we can work out a deal. This, I saw 60, I was like, well, it's worth about 80. You know, that's not really much room, but I got it for 40. We kind of tag teamed negotiating on this one. Came in, offered 50. They had 100 on it. She counted at 75, I hit at 60. All the games, you cleared them out for 40 bucks. So another 140 in profit. Very easy, yeah, that's conservative, <laughs> very conservative. These were $5, Tomb Raider, and then NFL Street 2, the best of the batch. And there was two crash games in here, so five bucks on those, probably like 50 bucks in profit. And we got a dollar air fryer, so we can make chicken nuggies in the bar. That's going to the bar. My kids are gonna be very jealous <laughs> of this shirt. Well, brother Dave just made a good little purchase. I didn't even notice this. He bought it for a buck, and it's actually worth about $40. So Quinn and them just got a LG sound bar. Apparently, basically brand new for 30 bucks, and it's worth 100, so that's gonna be another 70 to the total. We might keep that, but we're still gonna count it. In this sale earlier today, we asked if she had games, and she did, but we had to come back for them. And we're back now, so I'm super excited. Yeah, I, I think I would be able to do the the hundred dollars you suggested. Did, did you realize what just happened there? I'm not even that excited about the game. There's some decent games in there, but it's a backwards compatible. Let's go. Comfortably valuing this at $300. So that puts us up to 630 bucks in profit. We need 370 more. But while I was making that PS3 buy, my friend Thane and my brother Quinn were sealing a deal on some GameCube games. You still have the system too? I do, yeah. <laughs> what, would it, what would it take for you to get rid of the system? Oh man. I don't know, I still have a few of like the classic Mario games that I like to play on it, like Smash Bros and stuff. I potentially even give you upwards of 150 for the whole bundle. If you want to look at it, if, if it's worth that to you, I'd probably part with it for that. Okay, let's take a look. At this point, I caught up with them and he took us inside and showed us a bag of other GameCube stuff. We paid him 150 bucks like we offered, but then his friend said he had even more games. We just had to follow him to his house. Well, this is crazy. They were some magic to get a GameCube bundle. I mean, he, he paid up to, to make it happen. But now his buddy, we're, he's up there, and we are following him three and a half miles to his house. I don't even know what we're getting. Is it a Game Boy? Game Boy Color with Game. three Pokemon games at least. So we are following him right now. This day is heating up. Let's go. This is a total stranger. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty excited. We're so close to getting the amount of profit that we need for that blister pack. But I'm a little nervous because we literally have to go into a stranger's basement. As one should be when going into a stranger's basement. I got all 
I got all the Bugs Bunny ones too. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> container. Nice. There we go. Look at that. Pokemon. There's a frog. Pokemon there. Red. Red Lightning. This one oh. up. Sell the DX. When was the last time you played it? Actually, I played it last year. Hey, you guys are going to want this with it. Come on. These are cheat codes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> to Bugs Bunny. I don't, know which one, I don't know which one it was, but those are the cheat codes. The I love that. Yeah, you got Bugs Bunny 1 and 2 here. Yeah. And then Crazy okay. Castle. Oh, I didn't realize it was Pokemon Castle. Oh, it's, it's Pokemon yeah. Castle. Yeah. Let's see who you got in your squad here. The file data is destroyed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Would you be happy with 50 bucks? Sure. I'll, I'll give you 100. <laughs> Holy crap. It's worth that to me. Yeah, it's worth that it's much? Worth, it's oh, worth that to me. Right, We've been sweet. looking for it, so. Well, yeah, thank yeah. you, guys. Thank you so much. This was fun. I appreciate it. <laughs> so this was exhilarating, getting these incredible finds. Like, this is my favorite type of find. The story, the way that it happened, it, we beat the odds. You and Thane kind of tag teamed it to get the GameCube out, by my understanding. I'll give Thane most of the credit. Forgetting yeah, the GameCube out. <laughs> you started it, but like just connecting, and, yes. and they were awesome dudes. Like, so fun. We paid 250 bucks total. We could probably add about 250 in the profit. Here's the GameCube stuff. You guys haven't really seen it up super close. There's a Waybird with receiver. There's the system. Nice stack of games. I guess Mario Kart is missing. That was acknowledged. Metroid Prime 2, though. Sunshine, Mario Party 6. Great. Smash. Smash. Man, and then some other nice games. All of them are nice for GameCube. Three knockoff controllers, but, this, oh, three but the Waybird is legit the Waybird with the legit. receiver. Amazing scores, and this is what we've been looking for, so amazing to find it on the second day. Our total profit uh, number is up to 880, meaning we need 120 uh, to finish out the day. <laughs> this is service. <laughs> you got 10 on the Dawson's Creek, would you take seven? Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. I don't know what this is worth. It's safe to call it 20 bucks profit, I think. So that'll put us to 900. But then at the next sale, the unimaginable happened. Oh no, I got, yeah, some. got some. Not much. Is there a system in there too? I think so, but I'm looking. Looks like a VHS player. The system's probably in the house. It might be in the basement. If you want to grab it, we'll shoot you an offer. It'll be at least 60 bucks at this point. So you got the PS, you got to get that too. Oh, man. PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Probably at least another 60 bucks if that's got games in the system. We're over 100 now. <laughs> Trying to get some cash, man. You guys want to go for a walk? Well, let's go, let's for, go a walk. for a walk. This is the greatest day ever. We're about to go in another basement to get, hopefully, Xbox, PlayStation, and maybe more. We'll see. So we're going into yet another basement, but before I show you what's down there, Matt is in the background trying to seal up a video game trade that we're hoping we can pick up at the end of the day. So we're down in his basement, and, and let me tell you, this guy was quite the character. He was joking around with us the whole time we were looking through stuff. Essentially, he has stacks and stacks of games that are in these towers and cabinets, but many of the games he and his son don't really want to sell, so I'm going through them. Would you be happy with 100 bucks? For all of it? For all of it. There's no crazy games in there. So Thane tried to jump in and negotiate, but then the guy kicked him out and told him to go upstairs. Now, if you brought them to GameStop, they'd, they'd probably offer you 30 bucks. But if you brought them to Disc Traders, I think they'd probably offer you 80 bucks. I'm coming in at 125. Opening the fanny pack. I know, that's crazy. <laughs> you have Benjamin in there? I, I do. Plus another 25 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go with 125. All right. I'm fine with it. Let's go. It'll, it'll, it'll help you out. It'll I appreciate it. Out. I appreciate I mean, it. By all means, that's, that's fine with me. So. so after that buy in the basement, I think we successfully add $100 in profit, which gets us to that $1,000 mark. But... We're definitely not stopping there. We picked up this Wii bundle for $45 and should be able to profit an easy 100 bucks there. So we met with an awesome viewer named Jason. Shout out to you, Jason. And he, and he sold us some games. Game Boy, N64 with games, Xbox systems, even some Pokemon cards. And those are, we're gonna do pretty well on, but the profits from those will go just towards the cost of business as opposed to going to the Pokemon pursuit. Hey, if I wasn't running a business, it'd probably all go to Pokemon. Let's be real. But we're also on our way to the video game trade that Matt was working on earlier. For context, we posted an Xbox Series X trade on Facebook Marketplace in the town a few days before we were heading there, and Matt got an offer that honestly may be the greatest trade offer that we've ever got. We met in a parking lot in the rain, browsing through the games, consoles, controllers, but it was really kind of hard to see everything here, so let's take a look at it back at the barn. Here's everything laid out. The part that blows my mind 
is the collector's edition items. The statues, is this, this is from Death Stranding. The crazy thing with the briefcase. This Spider-Man is glorious, I love that. So many items, you got the PS Vita with the 32 gigabyte SD card inside, just a beautiful bonus. There's limited run sealed games in there. PSP games, the, the Switch games, SP, DS, 3DS, PS Classic, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, games, 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 GameCube, SNES, N64, Genesis, and more. Games, 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 yes, this was all for an Xbox Series X plus $25 in $1 bills. Matt, this is an all-timer. You made it happen on your Facebook account. We always prepare. So you, my friend, get the Spider-Man statue. Thank you. That's requested. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. It was an amazing day with some amazing scores. And we definitely got to the $2,200 mark that we needed to have in the Poker Bank. Now I do think we got even a little bit more than that, but I'm blessed to be able to pay my friends to come with me to hunt for these games. And you know, I've got the cost of business, so any extra is gonna go to them and to the cost of business. So we got our $2,200 in the Poker Bank. Let's buy that blister pack. So it came in the mail, we unboxed it, and here it is, the glorious sealed Pokemon Silver blister pack with the guide. We gotta add this thing to the Pokemon Pursuit collection. After a long day of garage sales, it's hard to have the energy to go to the grocery store, prepare a meal, and clean up afterwards. And that's where Factors Fresh, never frozen meals come into play. They're ready in just two minutes in the microwave, so you can heat them up, have your meal, and then just get back to garage sales or whatever else you got going on. Chase, I got turkey, chili, and zucchini, jalapeno, lime, cheddar, chicken. You want that? Okay. Now we've worked with HelloFresh in the past and they actually own Factor, which means there's now even more meal plans to choose from. So there's really something for everyone's lifestyle and taste. If you're looking to be more calorie conscious this summer, try the dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around 550 or less calories per serving. Dietitians approve and Alpal does too. Factor is becoming a go-to lunch solution for a lot of us here when it's a busy work day and when we have a lot to do. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code CATAPRI50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com or click the link below and use code CATAPRI50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Now this isn't even something that was technically on my, my list, but if there's a rare item that, that comes to me, then it's definitely something that I gotta pick up, and this was one of those things. Now we're gonna have to find the perfect spot to put it in the collection. Comment down below if, if you have any ideas for where we can put it. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this one. Check out the last episode here, and the next one here, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.